everyone. Hey! My name is Dave Luza. I'm Ilka Luza. <laughs> and we present to you today Long, Long Shot, Shot the, the Dice, Dice Game. game. Long <laughs> Shot the Dice Game is a horse racing game. Could you tell? Yeah, where you can bet on horses and uh, manipulate the, the, the race as it is going. Uh, it is on Kickstarter right now, and this is a paid preview, so whatever we say might be completely lied, but if you know <laughs> us a little bit, then you know that we just don't say anything just because we get money for it. In this game, which is a one to eight player uh, game, so you can play it solo, there are special solo rules, but uh, we like to play this game with a lot of people. Yesterday we had another six player game on our hands which was awesome each player gets a player board that uh, you need to change a little bit so everyone gets a different one with one of these cards so you randomly take one of these cards for each player and that will change all of the boards a little bit so everyone gets a different way of starting you also get from your mom I think we're gonna call it uh, millions your mom gave you a bag with 12 millions and said here go to the track so you mark that off, and uh, your mom also gave you uh, two tickets uh, with uh, horses that she thought would be an awesome bet on. So we st we think our mom thought a horse number four and horse number six might be great to win. I think she just saw thought a girl and a boy, but that's just me. That's uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what can you do in the game? Well, of course, someone needs to roll those dice. It is a dice game. We have a D8 with uh, numbers 1 to 8, but they are also handily uh, given a color, so you can see it a little bit better from a distance. And a D6, so uh, first you roll the D8, or you roll them at the same time, but just let me explain a little bit how it works. So in this case, horse number 7 will move. How many steps will it move? Well, this die tells us two steps, 1, 2. Now, whenever horse seven moves, we look at the horse seven card, which is right up here, and it has two crosses underneath. And it says, whenever horse seven gets rolled, number one gets one step, and in this case, also number three gets one step. Number six just sneaked forward, but that... Yeah, he was not allowed to do was that. Was a bit impatient. Uh, so that is basically how the game works. You roll the dice, and then horses move. Not only the one that has been rolled, but also the ones that are being crossed off. And this gives the game an edge from the, from the get-go. Because horse number one is definitely a favorite. He yes. already is marked on three of those cards. So chances are it will move by itself even though you might not even roll a one. I should have looked this up, but I'm pretty sure the seven and eight horse is what we're calling the long shots yeah. of the game, right? They're the, the ones that are not mm, typically bound to win the race. And uh, so their crosses are not on any of the other cards, as you can see. They never get slipstream movement no. or however you would like to call it. So they're behind from the get-go. But if they manage to come in first, second, or third... Oh my goodness, the, the odds... payout! The, <clears throat> the odds are extremely in their favor, as you can see here, for coming in first, second, and third. Uh, and that's amazing, of course. So, what do you do? What are your chances going to be? How does it even work? So someone rolled the dice, right? And uh, from this moment on, only after movement, only this number is going to be important. Every player gets to do an action that has to do with horse number seven. There are five different types of actions that you can do. And one thing that is the best thing in the game, you get to own horse number seven. But only one person can do that, of course. So you go clockwise order. Whoever spends four million on the horse number seven gets to own it. You put it in front of you. It doesn't change the game uh, for anyone else. The horse is still in the race. Everything stays the same. But if that horse comes in first, second or third, you actually get to make... Mega millions with it. 35, 25, or 15. Mega millions, yeah. And it's also a fun way to, from the get-go, personify, like, identify, I mean, with the horse and cheer it on even more. <gasps> you can cheer it on even even more. Yeah, you can buy a, a jersey of the <laughs> horse. That's one of the other actions. A horse jersey. No, it's for persons, I think. It's a fan jersey that you can cross off here. And that means you get to put a cross of your horse on one of the other cards. And for the number seven, that is really important because it was not on any of those cards. Yeah. So getting movement for free if another dies. So, okay, let's see. Whenever a six gets rolled, number seven gets a step as well. So everyone gets to take a turn 
with that some uh, seven action. You can buy it. You can buy a jersey. Uh, you can bet on a horse. You can bet up to three of your mega millions. Of course, this is all whiteboard marker, right? So, so you can here. just remove it and change whatever Let me go ahead needs to be changed. And bet three. And so I would deduct it here. Uh, of course, that would make this redundant, but. This is only a demo. Uh, what you could also do is buy a helmet. Get a helmet. Yeah, oh, that, that's one of the things, right? Uh, just like in uh, when you play roulette in the casino, once the, the ball has crossed a certain point in the game, they say, rien ne va plus, no more bets, please. And uh, that is in this game as well. There is a, a, a red line here. When horses cross that line, then you are not allowed to bet on that horse. No more bets, and no you can't uh, you can't make your bets higher uh, the ones that you have, even if you have betted on the horse already, unless you have a helmet. Safety first. Apparently, you can run towards the betting booth and still do a bet after the horses yeah. have crossed that red line. Now, isn't that amazing? That's at least the story I like to tell myself. Yeah. So don't worry, getting hurt, running towards the betting yes. office, saying I want to still put a bet in on the horse that is already this close to finishing you can. first. You are allowed to do that if you bought the, the horse's helmets. By the way, jerseys and helmets are just free actions. You don't actually pay them. But in endgame scoring, if you have both a helmet and a jersey of the same horse, they still give you five millions. It's like collecting Panini stickers. It's good to collect them. I love it. Panini! Uh, other thing you can buy, which is very important. You get to buy something at one of the concession stands. Popcorn, you name it. You already start off with uh, some of those crossed off in one of those starting cards. Uh, it's very important because they actually give you... Uh, uh, we're, we're playing bingo here. Try to make horizontal uh, or vertical uh, rows, columns, completely filled out, crossed out. Then you get one of the bingo bonuses. So let's pretend I filled in a complete row. Of course, this is cheating. Please don't tell anyone. So I have a choice now. Either, yeah, yeah. Well, I have you a reputation, know. you know. Uh, you can either get more money, which is really important because there's no other way really to get money during the game unless you have a certain horse that will pay out every time it's rolled. Uh, so you can get seven millions. You can do that up to three times. You can let horses... Yes, you can move them backwards. Two horses backwards, one horse, uh, three spaces backwards, uh, or the same in forwards. Am I saying that right? I you think are, it's you are saying sense. that. Here in the correctly. middle, you have two free betting tickets, and here's a free helmet, uh, a helmet, a jersey, and another buy a horse action. Yeah, you still need to pay for the horse. Of but course. still, you are allowed to, to, to buy it, even though that, home, that horse was not rolled, yes. which is awesome because owning a horse opens up a completely yes. new world of possibilities. Yes. Each horse comes with different uh, ways of bending the rules a little bit. Like number one, which is chain reaction. It says every time you complete a vertical column uh, on the concession stand bingo, you get to mark another concession stand. Yeah. That Maybe could. that gives you a chain reaction. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, Getting more and more of those bonuses. Super smart uh, names, by the way. The puns are amazing. Uh, too lucky will get you uh, two million every time it's rolled. So that's a way of making money within the game. And yeah. all those horses have uh, properties like that. The names are amazing. Of course. Now this game is on Kickstarter, right? So you know those stretch goals are going to be awesome. So how about getting more horses, more cards that you can play with every sure. time you play the game with a different set of horses? We already have uh, the, uh, another set of it. Uh, these are the ones that are recommended to start with, but there are already more of them. How about Cook the Books? Yeah. Um, they're awesome names for the horses and uh, awesome abilities, which makes the game even more fun and give it more replayability. What if you really don't like the number that was rolled? Ooh. Don't cry. No, nope. you can nope. cross off one of the wild thingies here and it's a horseshoe yes with a, after a lot of thinking we uh, could think of the name of this thing yeah you can do that up to three times and take any number you like and if you have crossed them off completely and still a number comes up that you cannot use don't cry you can wipe off one of the horseshoes and use it again in a later round yeah super so smart that definitely works and of course the last action that you can actually take with the number that has been rolled is bet on that horse you super can important bet up to three 
million dollar. I keep saying million. Three like million dollars. It's just like yeah. We had a friend. Mars. Yeah, that's very true. We had a friend who owned a horse but forgot to bet on her own horse. So that's something you have to keep in mind. You still have to bet because that's one of the way, ways to make money. Yep. So uh, those are the actions. Uh, someone has rolled the dice. You move the horses. Everyone takes one of those actions that we just discussed with the number that has been rolled, which was seven in this case. Of course, you could have changed it if you would take, an, uh, take a, a wild um, and, and cr turn that number into whatever you want it to be, only for you. And then the other next player starts rolling the dice and does the same thing. In this case, horse number six goes three steps. And in the, my example, one, two, three, it Yay! wins! So now uh, the game continues until three horses have crossed the finish line after horse six moves. Of course, uh, horse number two gets... Oh, it, it actually... Oh, that was just starting. <laughs> two, and number seven, which three, we have and just number put on the seven card. That we just put on the card. I mean, we, we just mocked the, this up, right? But the game ends when three horses have gone through the finish line. Then you add up the points. Well, what do you get points for? Uh, the horse itself, if you own it, you get 35 million or 25 or uh, 15, depending on if it's ending up in place number one, two, or three. And then, of course, how the bets are going to pay out. We have this little chart that tells you already you know how much it will pay out once you know which horse is going to be um, uh, in front. So, there. <laughs> Uh, in number six one, so number six gets the highest three times seven, which gives you 21. And we don't have the other ones, but they will pay in red for second place, white in third place. If they actually met this red line, then they still give you your money back. Your bet. That is what the that, bet you have already the placed. The bet you also, it's, uh, would be if we have like two bet on the, on the five horse, two times one equals two. So that gives you your money back. Uh, already said if you have a jersey and a cap of a horse then you get five bucks for every time that happens it doesn't ma matter yeah, if that's that right millions keep millions, that in mind millions. any money left over also counts towards your points so it's all about the money that's yeah. the opposite of what player I said with before. the most money at yeah. the end of the game wins long shot the dice game ilka what do you think i love it I really love it. I love uh, racing games in general. I love games like Downforce, Camel Up, Flamme Rouge, and this is a bit in that realm. Uh, it, although with very different um, um, rules and mechanisms and properties, because it's a little bit more complicated, just a little bit so that a friend we had playing had a big case of AP and it was... For took, nothing! Took it was a long for time. nothing! So be aware of that if you play it with a lot of players because it because it plays up to eight uh, yes. the box says uh ages 14 and up i would say uh, for sure a 10 year old could play this with a little help um i think it has to do with betting yes you should one should not learn how to bet before they're 14. Maybe, maybe that's the case. <laughs> maybe. Or that a glass of champagne goes really well at the races and you should drink that under 14. Maybe, but that's just my theory. I love the art. I love, 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 and I cannot stress that enough. Game designers, please keep doing that, that it's whiteboard and wipeable. No more trees are being, well, some trees are being killed, but not uh, for a notepad that you have to uh, throw away. But yeah. you can just erase and start all over again. Uh, that is really nice. It really, definitely, really nice. it definitely is. Did uh, I mention the art? The art is amazing. I love the art. The horses look fun. Um, if, so you can see them a little bit. Uh, the box is super compact. It's just small. Uh, it has magnetic clasps that open and close really well. And then look at the inside. I love the inside art. Yeah, uh, so pretty. We, we have a prototype copy of the box. Uh, the cards did not come out. I even ripped the, the side. So it I, will probably be fixed. So but, I doctored uh, it a little bit. I it, attached it something that, so they can just lift it out and lift out the cards. It yeah. is. I really like it. I love especially the fun word plays of the horse names. I love, but I love those horse names for race horses yes, in general. Yes, definitely. Um, so we've played this with experienced gamers who loved the way they were able to manipulate the race, try to get those jerseys in early so their horse would move faster during, during the whole game. Uh, others were just looking, what are you betting on? What are you <laughs> betting on? What is the best, uh, best thing to do? And of course, there's a lot of manipulation, uh, especially at the end of the game uh, when everyone is using those 
extra steps forward or extra steps back trying to get their horses in the the correct position in the end of the game you'll notice that uh, oh i don't have a uh, i didn't buy a helmet for that right uh, that horse i'm not allowed to bet on it anymore because it already passed that betting line and then things are getting really tight i need that to be rolled once more but it's a d8 what can you do Oh, you already used your wilds. Well, uh huh. Now it will take you even longer to to do what you actually wanted. A helmet in time saves tears times nine. <laughs> if it rhymes, it's true. If it know. doesn't rhyme, it's it, not it true. might it's not, not be true. true. Um, I have played this also with. We have played this with people with who are not used to playing games. They had some problems uh, uh, with the iconography and the size of the the things. They were a little bit it's, older. It's a step above from a party game for sure. It's not. Uh, you have to study uh, the symbols and you have to familiarize with that. So I'd say give it two or three uh, playthroughs, even if you're not experienced, and then you, for sure, get the hang of it and love it as much as we do. Yeah, um, I. Feel there is um, not enough ways of making money except for buying those uh, concessions, uh, crossing them off and getting money that way. I would love there to be more ways of making money so I don't have to always go and get those concessions. Uh, maybe that's one of the things that can happen with new horses that have different abilities. That have would an, definitely uh, be be something. Have that an I intermediate would be in. uh, scoring and then get some money that way. Yeah. Yeah. That, that would be amazing. That might maybe put an extra betting my, line here or. My yeah. really only complaint uh, with this, and you can see it if you put them all together, that it's a bit crowded and the horses are small. Um, uh, but that is due to the nature of the compact game. So here the, the lines could be a bit further spaced apart because if they move, they will be on two lines. Dave doesn't have that <laughs> issue, but I sort of mind that. Uh, but if it was bigger, it wouldn't fit into the box. And I love that Yeah. because you can take it on the road with you. We will be playing through this game yes. on our channel on twitch.tv slash Palooza. We will make sure to put it in the comments here on this video and, and announce it on, on Twitter. Uh, at Lusa Palooza on Instagram, and uh, you will find me as the Happy Lusa over on uh, uh, on Twitter. So we will be playing this game on stream. It's actually doable to play this also with people uh, on a distance. Uh, uh, we have sent out some of those uh, scoring cards, so they can play actually with us. Uh, from from a distance telling us what they do in chat. So if you want to be a part of that, then please uh, follow us on twitch.tv slash Palooza. You could play with us. So we actually recommend this game. We do. Long shot, the dice game. Thank you for watching. My name is Dave Luja. I'm Ilka Luja. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs>